Good evening, Philippines, and good morning, United States of America, and to the, uh, every other side of the world. <laughs> good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Hello, Mom. Thank you for watching with us every time. Oh, we love you so much, Dad, and our fellow brethren. In United States, thank you for joining with us also. Philippines, join with us, Pakistan, and India. God bless you, and you're all welcome tonight. Let's start the, the live ministry for tonight. And music, singing, praise, and worship our most high God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Amen. Be your name, O oh Jesus. Blessed be your name, the land that is plentiful, where the streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Found in the desert place, though I walk through the wilderness. Blessed be your name. Every blessing you pour out, I turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, Blessed be your name. Oh, you 
to be your glorious name, O God, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We continue to praise your name, O God. Yes. Hallelujah. Every tribe will sing your glory, O God, Lord Jesus. Every nation will sing your glory, O God, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Is 
of the Holy Ghost and with us here is part of our team in uh, Tanza. Yeah. This is my sweetheart. Uh -huh. Intro introduce everybody, your daughter yeah. here. My daughter Eunice, thank you for they are here with us uh, in this uh, prayer mm -hmm. gathering tonight, online of course. Our granddaughter Alma Graves, what a name. And our uh, daughter in law. Hello! See Leon. Yeah. <laughs> My son in law, Rocky Sylvester, once again. Yes. On the ring. <laughs> 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 and um, our son, Paul David. Yeah. Okay, gorgeous. So everyone is welcome, and I guess you are able to memorize their name already every time you so see them in the team. Thank you. Well, to uh, the Western Hemisphere, we want to say uh, Buenos Dias. Good morning to you in the Western Hemisphere. Yeah our friends in Cuba, 
in uh, several U.S. states. We do read your email, and we do keep you on the prayer list. want to say hello to Jim and to James, Timothy and Elizabeth. They're in India. We want to say hello to you. want to say hello to Ray and Karen. We're praying for you, too. Hello to Warren and, uh, and uh, Brother Hughes. We're praying for all of you people. And uh, praying for our friends in Palawan and uh, uh, Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Laguna. All over the Philippines, of course. We, uh, we do see your prayer request and we do pray for you Amen. every day. Yes. And uh, God is doing a good thing. When we first started, it was just my wife and I. <laughs> and now, the Lord has blessed us with a team that uh, uh, minister with us on the mission fields. And we know that the Lord is going to grant us more. Because Amen. our responsibility is not just to make new disciples, to brag about Jesus and make new disciples, but our responsibility is to train people to do the same thing, to, uh, to continue this chain of grace. We uh, brag about Jesus and people... Uh, we train people to turn around and do the same thing. Amen. Today we're in uh, uh, Wheat, uh, chapter 55. Yeah, if you want to read along with us. And uh, we find uh, David crying out to God. And we who are his children... You have the right to come boldly before His throne. You can come before His throne with confidence. Father God, uh, you, Your Son teaches us to come before Your throne uh, on a daily basis. You, you promise us daily provision. You provide for us daily bread. Yes. So we have the right, according to your Son, to come into your presence every day and cry out to you. Father, through your Son, you give us the opportunity to be adopted into your family. Amen. We Amen. must be born again unless we have a change of heart, uh, unless our heart becomes yours, uh, we cannot be a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. Yes, Lord. Father God, so many people say that they uh, they live a certain way and they, in, 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 they enjoy that certain way because that's the way they were born. They were born into yes. that lifestyle. Their heart is given to that lifestyle. Yes. Well, the good news is that Jesus tells us that we must be born again. When we begin Christ, we become a new creature. Old things pass away, and yes. behold, all things become new. Yes. So, Father God, we thank you for that. And uh, I was born again back in 1970, and my first pastor taught me to uh, that we should spend at least an hour a day, uh, half of it in uh, prayer and half of it in study of the Word of God and I found it's beneficial to the children of God to mix the two together yes. and uh, singing unto the Lord is a form of prayer we've Amen. done some of that already and we encourage you to uh, pray with us but when you pray the Word of God you're just Reading out loud, you're reminding the Lord, our Father, our God, of the promises He has made to us. And He says in verse 2, 
uh, verse 1 he says, Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. When we're in uh, sin, it seems like for many people it is hard to get God's attention, but really it's not hard to get His attention. You can come into His throne uh, boldly because of the permission given to you by Jesus Christ, His Son. So cry out to Him if you're a child of God. Yes. Verse 2, Attend unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make a noise. Father God, there are some days that uh, we feel stronger and then other days and there are other times when uh, sometimes uh, we uh, we don't know how to pray it says I, I mourn in my complaint and make a noise so sometimes as children of God we don't know exactly how we should express ourselves but I thank you that just like parents understand their children when they're not able to speak, when they're not able to communicate and, and make a noise, we thank you, Father God, that you are a better parent. You, I taught my daughter that as much as I love you, you have a Father in heaven who loves you even more than I do. And so, a good parent, they know how to listen to the groans. They know the personality of their children. And our Father in Heaven knows even better than what we do. Verse 3, because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. Uh, for they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. Jesus told us that the world hated him, and that they would hate his children too. We see that is uh, reality. But Father, I pray that uh, you give favor to your children. Yes. Favor comes from you, O oh God, and I uh, pray that, that uh, they would be given great favor. Your children would be get given great favor because it comes from you. And Father, the favor that comes from you yes. is far superior to favor that would come from any other source. Um, it says uh, in verse uh, uh, 4, My heart is sore pained within me, and the terrors of death are fallen on me. Father, God, sometimes as your children, we go through tribulation because people who don't know you and don't hate you, they hate the people of God. You know this is true because you confirm this right here in your word. Uh, fearfulness and trembling are come upon me and horror hath overwhelmed me. Sometimes as your people, O oh God, we can be guilty of facing despair where we don't know what to do in depression. Because these, uh, you tell us in your word that uh, we are human, and you tell us that the uh, that our, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood or human beings, but against principalities and powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 
you remind us that though we are humans, we don't have weapons that are human. You give us weapons that are mighty through God, through the power of the Holy Ghost, so that we can stand in the evil day, so that uh, having done all to stand, we can still stand, Amen. that we can be strong in the Lord Jesus Christ and in the power of His might, that our, our faith, Father God, is upon You in Your strength and not our own strength. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then I would fly away and be at rest. Well, Father, You tell us that the Lord Jesus Christ, He is our shepherd. Our shepherd goes before us. Amen. You promise us that the steps yes, of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. So we follow in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, Your Son. Lo, then I would, would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness. Father, we uh, are told by Jesus Christ, Your Son, He teaches us that when we pray, that we are to go into solitude with Him, to go to our closet, our secret place. And when we're there, we shut the door. And You tell us that our Father who sees us praying privately will reward us openly. We thank You, Father, that uh, even in the wilderness we can find our secret place. If we're on the job and uh, driving a vehicle, we can pay attention to where we're going, but we can go to You in quiet prayer. Uh, we can uh, talk to You. Uh, verse 8, I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Father, Your children, being honest, we always prefer to be in Your presence. Yes. Uh, verse 9, Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Well, Father God, we've seen You word that You promise. Yes. And sometimes You instruct us to expect confusion out of the enemy. Father God, we ask that a spirit of confusion would fall upon your enemies, the enemies of your people. Lord, that the wickedness that they designed for your people, that you would honor your word yes, okay. and turn it around for the good uh, to those who love you, your children, who are called according to your purposes. Yes. Lord, uh, uh, day and night, uh, they go around the walls looking for ways to cause mischief and sorrow are in the midst of it. Mm -hmm. Wickedness is in the midst thereof, deceit and guile. Depart not from the streets. Father, we pray that this confusion would fall upon the enemies of your people. Uh, that their designs, their traps, would be snares for themselves. For it was not an enemy that re reproached me, then I could have borne it, neither was it he that hated me uh, that did magnify himself against me, then I would hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man, mine equal, my God, in my acquaintance. Father God, sometimes we as your people, we find that uh, people sometimes 
who say that they are children of God, they're not as faithful to their brothers and sisters. Too often, Father God, they uh, they they wound, they kill the wounded. They hurt those who need protection and offer them up. But uh, Lord, uh, sometimes the people we expect to be true friends are not friends at all. But Father God, we know that You, Your Son, is a friend that is more faithful than a brother. That You've promised that as we brag on You, that signs would follow. Your promise that signs would follow. Jesus tells us, Matthew 28, 18, Lo, I am with you always. Or, wow, you are always with us. Father, we thank you that uh, we have the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ who is with us with that, wow, security and that presence, that grace that comes from the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, uh, evening and morning and at noon will I pray and, uh, and cry aloud and He shall hear my voice. He hath delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me for there were many with me. God shall hear and afflict them even he that abideth of old, because they have no changes, therefore they fear not God. Father God, we know that as we are with you, you promised that as we draw near to you, yes. that he draws near to us. And we thank you and praise you that your promises are yes and amen. amen. And we thank you, Father, that victory comes Hallelujah. from being with the Good Shepherd. Yes. yes. If we want the protection of the Shepherd, we stay with the Shepherd. We follow the Shepherd. Yes, For you promised, wow, I am with you always. Amen. Thank you, Father, that your promises are true. Yes. We rest in them yes. today in Jesus' name. Amen. So we have heard the word of God and prayers of our beloved missionary. And we will continue to encourage everyone to follow us on our prayer. You can send your prayer request in our messenger. Yeah, you can just send it there or in uh, our Facebook account. Hallelujah. We have our new account, the Live Love Christian Ministry. Christ Ministry, right? Yeah. You can join there for uh, helping that uh, page. Hallelujah. So we will continue to pray. We are, we are just so grateful before anything else grateful to what the lord is doing in our lives he is just so faithful enough every day he always provides because he is our all in all he can always be faithful and truthful and sincere hallelujah everything in his words so let's continue to trust in his words and we will continue to enjoy the goodness of God in our lives daily. So here is the prayer request. We are praying for the fast recovery, fast healing and fast recovery of our brother Ray, who had able to uh, undergo a gallbladder uh, operation because of the stones there. Lord, Father, God, continue 
because the healing part, hallelujah, and continue to bless his life, O oh Lord, as we rebuke also the spirit of pneumonia that complicates his sickness. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus to depart in his body. And we are praying for the great provision, O oh Lord, from above, foremost, and important, O oh God, is the strength from above that we may able to feel the strength from you, O Lord. We will be able to rise up completely, O Lord, with the full strength because you are always with Him every day. Your presence is the strength of your people, O God. We are also praying for the complete healing of Alea from cough and runny nose. Uh, we are praying for that baby that you will completely heal her, O oh Lord, touch her whole body. And uh, we trust in you in everything, uh, causing sickness to that child right now in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will touch her, O oh Lord. Thank you for the provision of her needs. And we are praying also for the first uh, coming operation of our beloved sister Emilda Sapao. That they declare, declare that uh, she got um, stage 3 breast cancer. But in you, Father, there is always power to heal, show miracle, show a miracle to every believer. Those who believe in you, those who draw nigh to you and ask for your mercy and miracles of healing. Hallelujah. You will touch her life. And then um, the needs, the provision for her needs, she needs 400,000 pesos for the operation. But you are more than enough, O oh God. Hallelujah. To provide for everything. We are also praying for Analinda Sago is also suffering from that uh, stage 3 uh, spinal cord hallelujah her spinal cancer but we believe in your touch oh God continue to bless her life show her your mercy oh Lord that she may able to know that our God is a powerful God who heals every sicknesses and to those who believe in him there's nothing impossible with God. We pray also for the blessings, more blessings of the transaction of Sister Rose Joyce. Hallelujah. Continue to bless her being a single mom. Continue to bless her life and her daughter, O oh Lord. Whatever they are um, having right now, transactions and businesses, O oh Lord, continue to bless their lives and bless every transaction that the favor will always come from you. Favor, 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 open heaven blessings. Uh, so also for Sister Milagros, hallelujah. We are praying for the businesses to grow more, hallelujah, the source of income will continue to overflow, the blessings will continue to overflow, because your child is a good listener to you. She always follows what you say, Father God. So continue to bless their businesses also, the source of income, their livelihood, Father. And we are praying for the protection and good health, physically and spiritually, O oh God. Continue to protect their families, O oh Lord. Also, Sister Rose Joyce. Continue to bless them and continue to give them the strength physically and spiritually every day. We are praying for more um, uh, leveling up of the blessing in their Households, fathers, 
We are so grateful that they are so kind Alleluia, to bless your people. They are so good enough to listen to your voice and to obey. So continue to reward their goodness to your children, O oh Lord. Continue to reward them, O oh God, because they always listen to your voice, Father. We thank you and we bless you for that in their lives. We are also praying for our families and supporters in this ministry, Father. We are so grateful for them. Always bless their concerns, O Lord, whatever their concerns, whatever circumstances they are having. Oh, right now, Father, continue to bless them. Your people who support this ministry in the Philippines or in the United States, Father, we are praying for them to bless, that you're going to bless them, protect them, O oh God, and continue to show them more breakthroughs to come, miracles, overflowing blessings. We're praying for all of them. You know their names, O oh Father God. You know their names, who oh, they are, and their household, O oh Lord, their businesses. We are praying for them, O oh God. We're praying for Sister Kony and his and her grandkid, O oh Lord, who is suffering from a kind of ailment. But we believe that your healing touch will correct the the sight of the baby boy of God, hallelujah, and Evan. Also, we're praying for their construction business, oh Lord, that it will grow more in spite of this pandemic that they had been suffering, oh Lord. Continue to bless them again once more, oh Lord, that they will glorify your name, Father, hallelujah, that they will continue to praise and honor you because in whatever situation, you can always bless your children who trust and believe in you and follow your voice. Uh, bless their relationship, being husband and wife. Bless their businesses, their families, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Likewise to those uh, supporters of this ministry also, Father. We are praying also, Father, for our fellow ministers all over the world. Thank you, Father, for the Christ Strong Foundation ministry that we were able to partner with them. And the, the ministry is growing. It's growing fast because of your faithfulness, because of your goodness. You're drawing nigh these people who are thirsty, longing for your presence, longing for your healing, longing for your mercy, longing for your grace, oh God. You are drawing nigh. Uh, you, you let them draw nigh to you, oh God. And you also bring them to us, oh God, that we can shepherd them, hallelujah, as you entrust their soul to us. Thank you, Father. We are grateful also to say thank you for the church, for the forthcoming church anniversary of the Christ Strong Foundation in Tondo for this coming Sunday. Continue to bless them for the great success, ministry, uh, hallelujah, and uh, the provision, and uh, show them your goodness, oh God. Hallelujah, every day. Also, the forthcoming anniversary of the Christ Strong Foundation, Naik, which we are right now involved in this ministry. Continue to um, support us, O oh Lord, and our daily provisions, the guidance. Hallelujah, in every ministry. Hallelujah. Guide us, O oh God, where you can bring us, O oh Lord, to find the souls who are thirsty, to find the souls who are looking for your grace and mercy every day. Hallelujah. Continue also to bless the music team, O oh Lord, and the messenger of God to be yours in this anniversary. And even in every 
Sunday services also, yes. Father. Continue to bless every messenger of your message, O oh God. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, the, the, the mind of God that you're going to use, bless them, O oh God, with the more powerful anointing from above, O oh God. With, uh, continue to bless them with a down-to-earth, humble spirit, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Spirit. Hallelujah. And we are praying also, hallelujah, for the mission field, hallelujah, worldwide. Thank you for giving us the compassion to the lost souls, Father. And likewise, we are praying for those missionaries who are on the other side of the world, who are also working in the Philippines, United States, Philippines, Cuba, Pakistan, India, and all over the world, oh God. I don't know, I don't know everyone. I don't know every missionary, oh Lord, that you have called and been sent to every nation, but I am praying to bless them, bless them, bless them, oh God, even your ministers to every Christian churches. We are praying also for the jobless children of yours who trust in you. We are praying for Anthony, hallelujah, that you will bless him, you will guide him, and you will give him the, the good uh, blessings, the work that you had prepared for him. Yes. You will bless him in the right time. And also, thank you for the endeavor of Leon that he was, she was able to apply to another company. Oh, God bless her. Uh, a final interview and exam tomorrow, Father. We are also praying for our students, for our, all our scholars, oh God, continue to bless them, continue to bless their endeavor, continue to help them, oh God, in their studies, oh God. Bless them, oh God, that uh, also uh, I pray that they would always strive uh, more, oh Lord, to study, that there is uh, an opportunity for them to study more, and uh, to enjoy the blessings and favor from you. So continue to bless our students, our scholars of God, and continue to provide their needs. Hallelujah. Especially the, this forthcoming uh, exam, hallelujah. Uh, continue to bless them, of God, with wisdom and understanding. We are also praying for our financial breakthrough, Father. Open heaven blessing, we are waiting for this. Open heaven blessing, oh God, so that we can be able to acquire a lot. Hallelujah for the church. A lot also for our residents. And we are also praying for a good church building, oh God, to be rise up in the area where you wanted us to be. We are so blessed with the calling that you have done in our lives. Thank you, Father. Thank you for my family who are supporting with us in the ministry. Thank you for their hearts that they had surrendered it all to you. Continue to bless the, each one of them, oh God. Even my children in Palawan. Our children in Palawan, our uh, our uh, uh, even in the United States, Hallelujah, and also God, we are praying for him that one day him and his family will be joining with us already. Oh, we're praying also for our loved ones who are near or far from us that. They will encounter your presence, O oh God, and they will fully surrender to you their lives as we pray that they would be also blessed because we follow your will in our lives. We are praying for their salvation also, Father. Let your will be done in each and every life of our loved ones. Bless this activity tonight, O oh Lord, and more souls that would be able to see this will be also blessed. Not only physically, but physically and financially 
emotionally be blessed forever. Because we are still to be blessed forever. In Jesus' name we pray. This is our prayer to Father God. Amen and amen. Mom, see you soon. Mom and Dad. <laughs> Hallelujah.